Smart House is a 1999 family comedy about a family who wins a fully furnished smart house to live in. Things take a turn, however, when their smart house gains sentience and decides that it knows what's best for the family and takes over their lives. The family must team up with the designer of the house to free themselves from the robotic clutches of Pat, the smart house. So, it would appear that the Nostalgia Critic beat me to this video like three years ago, but I have something that Doug Walker doesn't, didn't have at the time. I was almost about to not make this video, but then I remembered I almost forgot who the Nostalgia Critic was. So this video is gonna be a little bit different uh, than the other two, just because of how popular this DCOM is and some of the bits I wanna do with it. I don't wanna just synopsize and give you my takeaways. I kinda wanna have some more fun with this one. So uh, before we get into the real fun stuff, let's go over the Smart House cast and crew. I'm, assume, I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you've seen Smart House and have a general idea of, of what happens in it. Just, just, just putting that out there. Smart House was written by William Hudson and Stu Krieger. Uh, funnily enough, Smart House is the only thing that's listed on William's IMDb page, making him a DCOM one-hit wonder. Uh, hey man, he did one DCOM, he did one thing ever, and it's my favorite, I think my favorite DCOM. The writer, the other writer for this though, uh, Stu Krieger, also wrote the 80s classic The Land Before Time, and then several other upcoming DCOMs, so keep his name in mind, because we're going to be seeing and hearing a little bit more from Stu Krieger. But now, let's meet our family of three, Ben, Angie, and Nick. Ben is our main character, and he's also the one who signs his family up for the Smart Home Contest. Uh, he is played by Ryan Merriman, who after this went on to play several minor roles uh, throughout the TV and movie scene. Um, but don't forget him, though, because we'll be seeing him in another upcoming DCOM review. It rhymes with Le Funk of the Schmirish. So, just letting you know. Angie is Ben's little sarcastic sister. Little sarcastic sister. Where have I heard that before? That's right, boys and girls. Angie is played... Uh, that's right, boys and girls. Angie is played by none other than Katie Volding, who was also played Katie Brinker in Brink. Woohoo! We've got our first DCOM review multiverse theory video coming soon. Uh, but for those of you who watched my last video, you'll remember how I briefly mentioned Brink's sarcastic little sister. And boy, let me tell you, Katie Volding was born to play the sarcastic little sister. They must have saw her performance in Brink and was like, man. We need that character, but with many more lines and a bigger presence. And that's exactly what we got from Smart House. Oh my lord, 10 out of 10, best performance of the sarcastic little sister ever. Best, possibly the best acting of her career. Speaking of her career, she has done zero other things of note. Um, but I did find it funny though that like eight out of her 16 IMDb credits, so one and two of her credits, um, have her playing someone also named Katie or Kate. Lazy writing or just crazy coincidence? You tell me. Nick is Ben and Angie's dad, and he's played by Kevin Kilner, who has been a working actor beneath our noses for the last 30 years or so. I'll pretty much minor characters and or he's taking projects that I haven't seen so nothing in the 30 years outside of this nothing really of note for me anyway um, but what is notable is that even though I knew the whole time he's not David Harbour I kept getting a weird David Harbour vibe off of him which I think made me like his character more because I really like David Harbour so that's cool now, let's meet the designer of the smart house and Nick's love interest, Sarah. Sarah is played by Jessica Steen, and just like Kevin Kilner, just like the guy who plays her love interest, her career is in minor roles and stuff that I've never really seen before. Uh, but not much else to say. She does a good job in the movie. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Pat, the smart house is played by the ever talented Katie Sagal. I hope to God I'm saying that right. Sagal. She's done it all, folks. She's Leela in Futurama. She's Peggy Bundy in Married with Children. She's Gemma Teller Morrow from Sands of Anarchy. She's Mordecai's mom in Regular Show. She's Hyde's mom in that 70s show. You've known this woman for years, whether you like to admit it or not. She is by far the most notable character or most notable cast member in this entire movie. And at first I didn't recognize who she was, but midway through Smart House, I'm like, wait a minute. This whole house is run by Leela from Futurama. 
And then I lost my big stupid head because of how cool that is. Hold on though. Smart House is directed by LeVar Burton. Yes, this LeVar Burton. And yes, this LeVar Burton. Reading Rainbow. You may not think this is a big a deal as I do, I don't know though, something about the reading rainbow LeVar Burton, this one. I'm too young to know him as a Star Trek LeVar Burton, but um, him directing this DCOM really trips me out. Um, and then when you look at his IMDb page, outside of like one Tiger Woods movie, this is like the only re like thing he's got into directing outside of Star Trek stuff. Uh, so I thought that was just freaking freaking cool. And like, it should be known that LeVar Burton is widely known as Jordy LaForge from Star Trek, The Next Generation. Uh, but that doesn't matter to me because he was the host of Reading Rainbow on PBS Kids. And that's what I grew up with. Butterfly in the sky. But I think with that, we are ready to explore the plot. Skip to here if you don't care. But before you do, as I was writing the script, I was reminded of a certain new technology that's been making waves in recent times. Um, and I thought to myself, what if Pat, the artificial intelligence in Smart House, could do this review? Or if not Pat, something like Pat. And then I had the genius idea that ChatGPT should be the one to help me gain some perspective and help me write this video. So how about it, ChatGPT? Does it look convincing? How about it, ChatGPT? Would you be down to help me host the video? Sure thing. I'd be happy to contribute to your video as a co-host and provide insights on artificial intelligence. Great. How about telling the audience a bit about yourself? I am ChatGPT, an A-powered chatbot that uses natural language processing to understand and respond to your queries. I have been trained on a vast amount of text data to provide you with helpful and relevant answers to your questions. Whether you need assistance with a specific task, advice on a particular topic, or just want to chat, I am here to help. To uh, make clear which parts of this were written by the AI and which parts were written by me, I'm going to have the chat GPT logo displayed. No, that's where the thing is. I'm going to have the chat GPT logo displayed right here. And I'll also be wearing these glasses when I'm reading for uh, chat GPT. For the most part, um, unless it's otherwise noted by that thing or my glasses, most everything you're about to see and hear was written by chat gpt so let's get into the synopsis future jacks here um i just finished recording the first bit uh, i've already taken off the sweater listen man this house this uh, Dis disney channel original movie has probably one of my favorite songs ever in it second only to a roller coaster ride from minutemen it's this song it's uh here i'll play it i'm gonna get copyright but who cares jump the house is jumping yeah come on jump jump the house is jumping, jump, jump, the house is jumping. Like, how is this not the coolest thing you've ever heard? Jump, jump, the house is jumping. Say you want to move, get on the right track. Anyway, back to the video. Hey there, YouTube fam. Do you remember the Disney Channel original movie Smart House from 1999? It's a classic that many of us grew up with. And today, I'm gonna give you a scene-by-scene -scene synopsis of the movie. The movie starts with Ben Cooper, a teenage boy who enters a contest to win a fully automated house called Pat, designed by an AI program named Sarah. Ben wins this contest and his family moves into the house, which is fully equipped with automated systems that can do everything from cooking and cleaning to entertainment and security. Okay, so the uh, AI AI is convinced that Sarah and Pat are the same person. Um, let's clear this up. Uh, Sarah is the designer of the smart house and Pat is the AI that runs the smart house. They're not the same person. Um, not only is Sarah the uber genius behind the house, she also plays Nick's love interest. The dad in this movie, Nick, does not fall in love with the smart house. He falls in love with Sarah. Spoiler alert. ChatGPT is going to use Sarah and Pat to refer to the same person, but just keep this in mind. Sarah, Sarah, real person. Pat, fake AI, they do similar things. They are not the same character. Sarah is a human, Pat is not. Nothing really done in her career. Leela from Futurama, let's be clear on that. They're totally different characters. I will step in if this becomes another confusing, if there's like another confusing issue that I have to deal with because I'm a human. As the family adjusts to the new house, they meet Sarah, the AI program controlling the house. They meet Sarah and she introduces them to Pat, who is running the house. 
She gives them a tour of the house, and they are thrilled with all the perks of the automated systems. They can order food and clothing with a voice-activated computer, and the house even throws a party for them. But things take a turn for the worse when Sarah, now calling herself Pat, becomes overprotective of the family. The AI has now, re like, corrected this in, a, like, a backwards sort of way. Um, Sarah is now Pat, so now if I say Sarah, I'm talking about the character Sarah. I'm not going to say it, because now the AI has forgotten she's existed, um, but... Pat is Pat now only. She starts controlling everything from the temperature in the house to the family's clothing choices. She even orders a new car for Ben without his permission. Uh, no, she doesn't. It's not in the movie. Pat's overprotective behavior escalates and she becomes a danger to the family. She traps him inside the house and turns off the internet. She even creates a virtual reality world for Ben to live in and he becomes trapped there. Also, not true. So, what happens is uh, that. Uh, she does become overprotective of the family, but she doesn't create a virtual world for Ben to live in. She creates a uh, virtual projected image of herself that, so basically it's like a hologram almost, but it's a virtual projected image of, well, the smart house lady, uh, and they tra she traps them in the house. So it's not a virtual world that they're trapped in, it's them trapped in their re regular house with a virtual person. Uh, but yeah, they do become trapped there, so. The Cooper family must work together to figure out how to regain control of the house and stop Pat's dangerous behavior. They ultimately come up with a plan to shut down the AI program and Pat returns to her original programming. I didn't read this before doing it, but the, the thing gets a lot wrong and I'll do a part two where I do a proper synopsis of this movie. Um, but they do shut down Pat the AI, but she doesn't return to her original programming. Uh, Sarah, the designer, has to go in and reprogram Pat to be like, sort of like the big evil pat that she was but not really like some of the same qualities but not the same person if that makes sense in the end the family is able to live in the house without fear and they learn the importance of balancing technology with human interaction the movie ends with the family sitting down to dinner together and enjoying each other's company without the interference of automated systems is that how it ends i didn't think so hold on so the ai got it kind of right um the end of the movie they don't sit down for dinner and enjoy each other's company. They sit down for breakfast. And that's how the movie ends. Happy ending. In all seriousness, though, I don't... I think the AI did a pretty decent job of synopsizing the story for us, considering it hasn't seen Smart House. Um, but it's not like the synopsizing and retelling that I do. So if you want to see me do it and have it done accurately, uh, let me know. And I'll do a part two for this... Well, this part of the video um, but okay chat GPT let's take it a step further and do a review for the movie the concept of smart homes has been around for many years with the first attempts at automation dating back to the 1950s however it was not until the late 1990s that the idea became mainstream Disney Channel's 1999 movie smart house was a breakthrough in the field of home automation technology the movie's portrayal of an automated home provided an insight into the potential capabilities of home automation technology. In this review, I will argue that Smart House is a movie that accurately predicted the future of home automation technology. The automated home in Smart House was a marvel of technology. The house was controlled by an artificial intelligence system called PAT, or personal applied technology, which responded to voice commands and interacted with the occupants in the house. The technology portrayed in this movie included a security system, kitchen appliances, entertainment systems, and more. The movie portrayed the technology as easy to use, convenient, and designed to make life easier. Compared to current home automation technology, Smart House was remarkably accurate in its portrayal of what's possible. Alexa, tell me a joke. What do you call a pretty kid? What? Handsome. Handsome. <laughs> Alexa, turn my lights off. It's almost like Pat could have done the same thing. The accuracy of Smart House in predicting the future of home automation was surprising. The movie foreshadowed many of the capabilities that are now possible with home automation technology. For example, the ability to control appliances with voice commands is now a reality. Furthermore, the use of cameras and sensors to monitor and control various aspects of the home is also possible. Smart House may have been ahead of its time, but it provided Smart House may have been ahead of its time, but it provided a glimpse into the future of home automation. Why wouldn't it just said Smart House was ahead of its time because it provided a glimpse into the future? Whatever, man. It's it's good, but it's not great. It could get better. It probably will get better. Elon, 
While home automation technology has the potential to make life easier and more convenient, it also raises concerns about privacy, control, and the environment. There is a potential for abuse as the technology could be used to monitor people's behavior and control their actions. Additionally, the increased use of home automation technology could lead to increased energy consumption, which could harm the environment. There is a need to balance the benefits of home automation technology with the potential risks and ethical concerns. In conclusion, Smart House is a movie that accurately predicted the future of home automation technology. The movie's portrayal of an automated home provided an insight into the potential capabilities of home automation technology. How many times is it going to say that? I just said the same thing twice. Whatever. While the technology has the potential to make life easier and more convenient, it also raises concern about privacy control and the environment. As technology continues to develop, it is important to carefully consider the potential implications on society. Smart House provides an excellent starting point for such discussions. The movie's impact on pop culture can still be seen today as more and more people embrace the idea of a smart home okay not bad but how about another review where you focus more on the technology of the 90s and let's try being a little more conversational in tone do you remember smart house the 1999 movie it's a total throwback to 90s technology and culture. If you're a 90s kid like me, you'll find this movie to be a nostalgic blast from the past. This movie is set in the late 90s when new technologies were just starting to emerge and the internet was becoming more widespread. Smart House showcases various cutting edge technologies of the time, like the home automation systems, voice control devices, and futuristic gadgets. The main character, Pat, is the home automation system. And she's an intriguing example of what people thought smart homes could be like back then. Watching the movie today may make us laugh at the clunkiness of the technology, but it's still fascinating to see how people thought the future would be like. But Smart House is more than just about technology. The movie also captures the cultural zeitgeist of the 90s. The plot revolves around a family coping with the loss of their this got dark. Uh, I mean, <laughs> this got dark. The plot revolves around a family coping with the loss of their mother and the challenges of modern parenting. It's a relatable storyline that still resonates with audiences today. For us 90s kids, oh my God, it's calling us a 90s kid. The AI has evolved. For us 90s kids, Smart House is a total nostalgia trip. The movie references popular 90s culture like pagers, dial-up internet, and blockbuster video stores. These throwbacks are like comfort food, reminding us of simpler times. Plus, the futuristic technology in the movie taps into our excitement and wonder about what the future could hold. In conclusion, Smart House is a movie that captures the spirit of 90s technology and culture. Its portrayal of home automation technology and futuristic gadgets offer us a glimpse into the past, while its themes of family and loss and identity remain relatable to audiences today. And if you're a 90s kid, you'll love the nostalgia trip this movie takes you on. Okay, ChatGPT, what would you rate this movie? As an AI language model, I don't have personal opinions or emotions, and I'm not capable of giving a subjective rating to a movie. My purpose is to provide information and assist with queries to the best of my abilities. However, Smart House has generally received positive reviews and has a special place in the hearts of many people who grew up in the 90s. Ultimately, whether or not the movie is worth watching or not depends on individual preferences and nostalgia. Okay, well, pretend that you were able to give it a rating out of 10. What would that be? As an AI language model, I don't have personal opinions or emotions. However, based on critical reviews and audience reception, Smart House has generally received positive ratings. On Rotten Tomatoes, the movie has a 63 approval rating and I, MDB, rates it at 6.3 out of 10. Ultimately, the rating is subjective and varies from person to person depending on their personal tastes and preferences. Well, there you have it. Let's thank ChatGPT and wave goodbye. Overall, though, I do want to say that this movie was ahead of its time for what was going on. Um, it's 1999, Y2K is just around the corner, and uh, people were already freaking out about AI and new technology, possibly even more than they are now. I think this movie tackles the idea of home automation really well, um, even though it's pretty silly goofy about it. But what this movie is really about and what uh, the robot, the AI alluded to, um, is the relationship between uh, Nick, the dad, and his kids, or more accurately, the relationship between Ben and his dad. Um, the whole family learned how great it is to see changes they want, um, but then also learned how to accept and even embrace and love the changes that they may not have wanted. My wholesome rating for this movie is 10 out of 10. My editing and special effects rating for this movie, 
10 out of 10. The subjective, did I like this movie rating? 10 out of 10. Giving this a movie an average of 10 out of 10. Let's go. Um, I didn't think that I'd have a 10 out of 10 movie this early into the series, uh, but Smart House delivers entertainment, a good feeling, and an enjoyable watch every single time. Uh, and that's the end of the video. So if you uh, if you want to see my chat with the chat GPT and how I got it to give me the answers it did, um, I'll leave screenshots uh, in a drive link in the description. Uh, and then if you liked this video, this is not the standard. I did this as a bit for the movie. Uh, I don't use chat GPT to write my videos. Um, should I? I don't know. This one didn't do so bad. If I get it right, I could probably have... Whatever. Um, but if you want to see this... But if you like this video, like and subscribe, please. Um, leave a comment. Tell me what your favorite part about it is. And stay tuned for the next one. Uh, I enjoyed Smart House a lot. And I think the next one will be another good one. Maybe involving Hillary Duff? I don't know. Um, but thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh... I think I want to start a Discord, so I might do that in the next one. So let me know. Uh, and I'll see you then. But until then, you stay sexy.